The legend evolved from magpies being like bad Satan birds to the idea that even the sight of a solitary magpie would bring bad luck. Hello, hello! Thank you so much for coming to another video! So, listen, it is officially spring as of March 20th in this northern hemisphere spring is here and personally i'm extremely excited so you might remember that i did a video called in like a lion the saying goes in like a lion out like a lamb and so that is going to be today's look we are going to do a lamb inspired makeup and i'm going to tell you guys some interesting things about lambs lambs <laughs> there's going to be a lot of that but first, before we do any of that, we have to get today's little cute makeup off. Um, I did like a little like smoked out eyeliner and mascara, and then just like a little bit of a, um... If you guys didn't see the last video, I did a review and look from this palette. Um, I've been trying to get good use out of it. Um, I used hot salsa and mild salsa in the inner corner, and I think it's a very simple and cute look. So yes, first we are going to get our skin fresh. I have a clean face now, Mom. Can I get to the dinner table? <laughs> we don't do anything on this channel without putting on some primer first. And you know we're all about that elf hydrating primer. We take a little bit. I don't wear foundation, like hardly ever, so we don't put any on. <laughs> we're crazy. Uh-huh. Sorry. Remember, as you put on your primer, we do our daily affirmations. I have the courage to stand up for what I believe in. I know that I am a good person who provides light, love, and laughter into the world. I am the great priestess who speaks through this vessel. Those who seek the ancient treasure shall only find it if their heart is true and brave. Like I said, ladies, we are gonna... I got my second COVID vaccine shot today, so I hope tomorrow I don't feel like absolute crap. We're just gonna use like any white shadow. I'm gonna use the one from the Elf and Chipotle palette. And we are just going to um, kind of coat the lid. This is going to be one of our main transition shades. I'm not seeing much color. We're going to go back in. So is everybody enjoying spring? Are we having a good time? Are we planning to grow flowers or are we getting the vaccine? If you can, just saying it's a good idea. All right, we're going to go in with our little James E. Charles palette. Um, actually, we're going to start off with this lighter pink first. So you have the female lamb, I mean, not the female lamb, you have a female sheep. She is called a U, E-W-E. -E. The male is called a ram. And babies are called lambs. Thing, I feel like that light pink is doing absolutely nothing. Also, apparently when sheep give birth, it's called a lambing, which sounds like a horror movie. <laughs> you think you can run, but no one can run from the lambing. Dun, 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 dun. We also know that a group of lambs and sheep is called a flock. Okay, so I actually hit more of this hot pink and that pale pink. <sighs> oh, that's fun so far, okay. Also, I think it's crazy. It says that newborn lambs are pretty much able to walk and stand like immediately after birth. We have to wait till like we're one years old. Also, speaking of eyes, um, sheep and sheep and goats have rectangular pupils. We do not. We have circle poop. We have circle pupils. It says that those kind of pupils allow them to see. 270 to 320 degrees around them and they can't really just see things that are like directly behind them Ooh, yeah <laughs> i hated that 
Oh, this is kind of fun. This, I'm gonna try to attempt to do a graphic liner with a brush. But before I do that, did I tell you that there are over a thousand different breeds of sheep? Over a thousand. Some of them have the ability to grow two horns, four horns, six horns. Some of them have long silky hair. Some of them have curly hair. Some of them are black, white, brown, all kinds of sheep. We love diversity. <sighs> okay. Um. All right, we're just gonna throw on a simple pink lip. But I do so far feel like a cute little lamb. I do so far feel like a cute little lamb. Look at me. <laughs> oh my gosh. You guys have to, um, by the way, the sound a sheep makes is called bleating. So you guys, it's a lot easier than roaring. Here we go. We have to bleat together. Just try. You go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I want to try something a little cute, a little crazy, a little fun, something that I've never done before. You know how you, when you think of a proverbial sheep, you think of like fluffy and like cottony, but also we're thinking of spring. So we're going to do like fluffy clouds across the cheek and the nose. That was really cool about sheep is that not only are they adorable, but they are also very smart. They can self-medicate, um, which means that they eat things that don't have necessarily like, um, like digestive or nutritional value to them. So they will eat things to make them feel better. They are not just dumb. They are not just like herd animals. They are very smart. They are known to show um, complex emotions like happiness and fear and sadness and and they can be angry and they can be bored. I'm gonna take a little pink shading and I'm dragging it like a little bit through the bottom of the cloud and then just kind of blotting it a little bit in between. Like I said, I think I kind of want to add a little bit of yellow at the top, but very lightly because I don't want it to become too crazy. Those clouds are the cutest. Okay, now very, very easily, I'm gonna go back in and add tiny, tiny points of the white body paint again to make little highlights on the cloud. I actually really like how it kind of turned out. It's very simple and a little bit more artistic than wearable. But uh, yeah, this is my out like a lamb look to complete the series of March in like a lion, out like a lamb. Don't forget, before we say goodbye, I have a podcast called Hold Me, I'm Scared that I am very, very proud of. Me and my best friend are having a great time over there. Um, definitely follow me on TikTok and check out my other social media. The links are below. I'm always having a good time over there. And sometimes I even do TikTok lives and create other looks that I do not do on this channel. Well, thank you so much for stopping by and I hope you have a great night and a great day at work, at school, at home. All right. And this is how we say goodbye. I'm going to blow you a kiss and you have to catch it. Okay. Just reach out and grab it. Feel the love. And then you're going to blow it back to me. And I promise I will catch it. Are you ready? <laughs> get my lamb kiss. Get my lamb kiss. Get my lamb kiss. Get it now. All right. So now you blow it back and I will catch it. Here we go. Go. Blow it back. <gasps> <laughs> All right, thank you so much, and I will see you next Friday. Goodbye. I'm a lamb. I'm a lamb. Excuse me, sir, are you a lamb? You've never met a lamb like me before. Why, I'm not shy. I'm just sheepish. <laughs>